Welcome back one and all, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Divine Divinity, where we left off last time. We were dealing with this brat prince, I hate him so much. Like, just a huge amount. Now, what was I supposed to do again? <laughs> uh... Let's find Zandalor. Oh yeah, find the teddy bear. Well, let's go. Ooh, there's a magic potion. Let's go take that first of all. Those are worth their weight in gold. No teddy bear there. That's milk. Oh, there it is. I see it. it's right there. I think my talents are wasted on this particular place, but whatever. Let's go deal with this brat princess. God, she's annoying. What is it this time? The smell is horrible. I found your teddy bear, Uncle Samakanye. Uncle Samakanye, yuck, I'll have to have him washed and dried before bedtime. I don't want your horrid peasant smell lingering about my bed, do I, flunky? I'm going to murder you. I can't wait till I stab you in the face with arrow. Like a lot of them. Hail, my Lord Protector. Our noble master, Duke Janus, demands your presence in the throne room on the instant. An important meeting is about to start. Hurry up, hurry up. You go, it's another petty little task for our great patron. Where will it all end, Theus? You're young, my friend. You'll have to learn that youthful rulers are full of whims and temper tantrums. His father, God's rest him, was much the same in his first year of rule, so I was told. As Duke Janus settles to his position, I'm sure you'll find that he matures and will treat you with greater respect. I hope you're right, Theus. As it is, I have to keep myself from boxing his arrogant ears for him. Yeah, I don't care who heard me. Walt, standing by the door. Big meaning. There's a lot of people in that room. Here we go. Let's see what goes on here. In the name of the Merchant's Guild, I wish to give thanks to Duke Janus who many believe is the Divine One, spoken of in the sacred prophecy of Reuben Farrell. And let me assure you that Janus is the true Divine One. I'm gonna shoot her in Before the face, too. Before we start the formal meeting, I would like to introduce my fellow merchants, all decent men and loyal subjects to the royal family. Please be quick about it, ma'am. My precious Layla is waiting next door for me. You know how impatient new lovers can be. Uh, <clears throat> Wow. Oh, Divine One, allow me to present to you the worthy Sir Dante Avedistis. Next to him stands the Honorable Sir Patrick and his charming family. Also here is the good father Theophilus, who took time from a busy ceremonial schedule to attend this... My dear Trevor, I must intervene before you render me catatonic. Your speech is simply too boring. As you wish, oh, Divine One. We came to Stormfist Castle to support the war effort. We've heard that you are planning a great campaign against the Orcs. You have heard correctly, and I appreciate your offer. I want to finish this war and devastate the Orcs before the onset of winter. I do hate living in a tent. Oh, Divine One, be assured that we will contribute fully to the war effort in return for the lower tax rates you promised us, hmm? Yes, yes, my administration will sign the contracts later. But now, my dear Lady Alona wishes to say a few words to you. Thank you, my Divine One. As you have heard, Janus is satisfied with your financial efforts, but that is still not enough. There are regions in Rivalon where the benighted people do not know of the glory of Duke Janus. I want you to spread the word that Janus is the holy savior of the seven races. Only then will we win sufficient support to drive back and destroy the Orcish armies. I will speak of Lord Janus in my rest day sermon, Lady Ilona. The time has at last come. The prophecy is fulfilled. The prophecy is fulfilled indeed. Consider, the great Reuben Ferrell wrote that Janus would have a wise counselor at his side and a powerful protector. 
How to, Lady Elona? You are clearly the wise guide of the prophecy, and the hero of Aleroth is the Divine One's Lord Protector. Oh, God damn it. We see the sacred words made flesh. Exactly, Sir Patrick. The prophecy is shown to be completely true. It promises that in times of troubles, the Divine One will guide his people and protect them. I hate my life. I give you my most holy word, my children. Before the first snow of winter, the orc warbands will have been driven and scattered like chaff. By spring, I will have eradicated all poverty, and by my sacred sword, all shall live in peace and plenty. Lies. Hail to Duke Janus, the Divine One. Hail to Duke Janus, the Divine One. <laughs> oh, there's orcs coming in. I should let them win. What's all that noise coming from the corridor? Yes! Who dares disturb this meeting? I'll hang them, whoever they are. Lord Protector, follow me. It's orcs, by the way. <sighs> there is Janus, the false divine one. Kill him. What the hell? You have failed to protect the Divine One. Duke Janus had to raise his holy hand to defend himself. Oh, the indignity. You should have killed the orcs faster, you cack-handed peasant. Did you for one second imagine what would have happened if the sacred person of Duke Janus had been killed? I don't care. I did my best, but there's too many of them. I say slay this inept coward. The price of failure should be death. My dear father Theophilus, those are brutal sentiments for a man of the gods like yourself. Besides, there are ways to make people suffer that do not call for the death penalty. So what do you suggest we should do with this fool, your holiness? The most terrifying thing for a would-be hero is the risk of losing their reputation. I'll have this failure thrown out of the castle. Think of the agony. Deny the position of bodyguard to my most holy self and cast out in ignominy. Guards, take this worthless awful away. Oh, the horror of having to leave this oh, asshole miscreant. place. And don't even think about nicking anything on the way out. I can't wait to kill all of you. Hey, wait, can I get the gold that's on the floor? Sweet, I get to leave. Maybe we can go find Zandalor now. Get out of here! Go on! Swing your hook! We got minus 15 reputation for that. Wait! May I talk with you in private, Marked One? Assuredly I do. I knew that you bore the mark from the moment you entered the castle. It gives you a certain aura, if you understand me. Then later I eavesdropped on your conversation with that odd white cat, and my suspicions were confirmed. So can you help me, Lady Alona? You are a foolish creature, Marked One. <laughs> I am here to take you to a secret place of mine. There we can talk that about sexy. that white cat at much greater length. Good luck with that. And what makes you think you have any choice, peasant? I said what? Go. Oh. She's just gonna take me with her. Okay. Hey, Zandalor's here. What do you want from me? You'll get nothing under threat of torture. Or maybe not. Do your worst, Elona, or whoever you are. When I've finished with the other marked one, I will return. Then, we'll have some fun. I've had demon blood in my veins. I knew it. And I was torturing captives before I learned to walk. Trust me, you'll soon tell me everything I want to know. I don't think I will. Still can't lockpick, really?
<laughs> Human thinking can escape this prison? <laughs> hmm, I need to find a way out of here before that idiot drives me mad. Hey, there's a cat. Okay. Here's the key. Now get out of here. Okay. Fantastic. Hey, do I have a bow still? Where's all my stuff? I don't approve. Stairs there. There should be like a box for my stuff somewhere. Apparently, there's nowhere to go and there's nothing in here, so. I wonder why the orc is still there. Apparently, he doesn't care. Well, let's get out of here. Your belongings in that chest over there. Fight your way out of this dungeon, and I'll see you outside. Well, okay then. Hmm. Bronze key. Go get the key. This must be the key to the room where my belongings are stored. Maybe. Hopefully. Outstanding. Is there like a loot all button? Because that's... That's going to be something else entirely. Alright, well... It won't work with that. Oh, there we go. I can't use it on that. It won't work with that. Can't use it on that. It won't work with that. Can't use it on. Why that. is there not a loot all button? Almost done. It won't work with that. There. Is that our bow? That's not even our bow. Do we have our normal bow? No, we do. Okay. I guess those are our boots? Pretty sure. Why am I wearing a pot on my head? Alright. It's much better. Now we have gear and stuff. There's a healing shrine there. Apparently some scorpions. We're at half life. We definitely need some more life. Also we have some skills to learn. Oh shit. Just go away, I'm busy. Uh, okay, so we want some more elven sight, that's important. True shot's worthless. We could get evade arrow, which doesn't really help us all that much. Poisoned arrows apparently break the game, so we're not going to do that one. Splitting arrows are a few levels off. We could get another repair skill, but meh. Excellent. So let's get that. Let's go Survivor. What else do we have? Get Poison Weapon. Hmm. What do I want? Lockpick we're maxed out on at the moment. What 
que we get. We could enchant a weapon. Just so we can apply charms later on. Hmm. We'll save for now. What do you guys think we should use for skills? I actually don't know, so... I mean, I could make a pretty good poison spec guy, probably, but... From what I've heard, that breaks the game a little. I don't want to do that. Oh, shit. Damn zombies. That actually really hurt. Let's not get hit by Scorpion too often. Also, we have a bed. Let's just sleep. You don't have to drop it on the ground. You can just totally use it from the inventory. Didn't know that. That's amazing. Amazingly broken, I might add. One, two, one, two, one. Okay. Trying to buff up our strength, our agility, and our constitution magic. Not so worried about. There's another zombie. I'm just glad I'm out of that castle. I knew that girl was bad news. She's such an evil wench. Actually, all of them are kind of stupid and evil, so I'm not going to be too sad if I have to kill them all. Especially that stupid bratty duke. Oh god, I want to punch him in the face so much. I mean, there have been characters I wanted to punch in the face pretty bad. But he is one of the characters I wanted to punch in the face, like, a lot. And I don't think anyone could have faulted me for it. Sometimes children just need a good hit in the face. <laughs> don't repeat that to anyone. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Hey. Lockpick. There's a huge room full of stuff. I want it. How do I get to it? Oh, it's right here. Uh, good thing we have lockpicks. Why do the chests contain nothing half the time? Tournament shield? Well, hey, stop that. Well, crap, the ring over. I'll have to drop something. Lies. Don't drop anything. Oh shit, wrong button. Uh, stop it. Just shoot him. I'm overloaded. I'll have Might to drop have to drop something. some things, but we'll see. Oh, a bow! I'm overloaded. An identifiable bow! Something. Oh my god. What can I drop? Probably that ring mail. And we'll take the shadows potion, the magic potion, and the healing potion. And the restoration. And the stamina. And the silver key, of course. Can we just walk through the rock wall? That's that's weird. I don't think that's how rock walls work, but I'm not a rock wall scientist, so I don't know enough about it to dispute it. But I'm pretty sure that's not how they work. We should rest in our pocket bed in a minute here. We're hurting pretty badly. Or use a healing potion. One of the two. If we can't use the bed, we'll healing potion up. But we can totally use the bed. That seems a little bit broken to me. But you know what? We're at the end of our video anyways. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. There probably is going to be one more video today. A little bit later on. i got to get some stuff done. Uh, some chores and stuff. I'm probably going to be moving soon, so I gotta start getting rid of old junk and uh, minimizing my junk that I'm gonna be bringing because I hate moving things a lot. Take care, guys, and have a wonderful day.